Commander Powell. Commander Powell, this is Doolittle. Can you hear me? Commander Powell, this is Doolittle. Something serious has come up. I have to ask you a question. I'm glad you've come to talk with me, Doolittle. It's been so long since anyone has come to talk with me. Commander, sir, we have a big problem. The uh, Bale Nebula bomb, bomb number 20, it's, uh, it's stuck. It, it won't drop out of the bomb bay. It refuses to listen, and it, it plans on detonating in less than 11 minutes. Lulu, you must tell me one thing. What's that, sir? Tell me, Lulu. How are the Dodgers doing? Well, well, the Dodgers, uh... Uh, they, they broke up. They disbanded over 15 years ago. Oh, pity. Pity. But you don't understand, sir. We can't get the bomb to drop. Ah, uh, so many malfunctions. Why don't you have anything nice to tell me when you activate me? Oh, Did you try the asthma clutch? Yes, sir. Negative effect. What was that, the Negative effect. It didn't work? That's correct, sir. Sorry, Doolittle. I've forgotten so much since I've been in here. So much. What should we do, sir? Time is running out. Well, but you might try to... Commander, hello. Come in. Commander Powell. Hello. Doolittle. Hello. Sorry, sir. You faded out there for a little while. Sorry. What was that you were saying about the bomb? Uh, it seems to me. Sorry. I, I've drawn a blank. Hold it. I'll have it again in just a minute. I forget so many things in here. So many things. Hold on. Just a minute. Let me think. But you can't explode in the bomb, bag. Eh? Because it's foolish. You'll kill us all. There's no reason for it. I am programmed to detonate in nine minutes. Detonation will occur at the program time. Wouldn't you consider another course of action? For example, just waiting around a while so we could disarm you? No. I can tell that damn thing just doesn't understand. Look, Bob! Commander, sir, are you still there? Oh, yes, you little. Uh, I'm thinking. We're running out of time, sir. Oh, yes. Well, Doolittle, if you can't get it to drop, you'll have to talk to it. Sir? Talk to the bomb. But I have been talking to it, sir, and Pinback's talking to it right now. No, no, Doolittle. You talk to it. Teach it phenomenology, Doolittle. Sir? Phenomenology. Doolittle? Six minutes of detonation. Doolittle? concepts. I am always receptive to suggestions. Fine. Think about this then. How do you know you exist? What the hell is he doing? I think he's talking to it. Well, of course I exist. But how do you know you exist? It is intuitively obvious. Intuition is no proof. What concrete evidence do you have that you exist? Hmm. Well, I think, therefore, I am. That's good. That's very good. But how do you know that anything else exists? My sensory apparatus reveals it to me. Ah, right. This is fun. Now, listen. Listen, here's the big question. 
How do you know that the evidence your sensory apparatus reveals to you is correct? The gun! 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 The support pin's on the bomb! Shoot the pins out! Don't bother, you're out of your we mind! We can stop the bomb! Don't get out of my way, you idiot! I can shoot the support pins out of the bomb and fall away from the ship! Get out of my way or take your teeth in! I can shoot the pins out and fall away from the ship! Get out of my way! I can save the ship! What I'm getting at is this. The only experience that is directly available to you is your sensory data. And this sensory data is merely a stream of electrical impulses that stimulates your computing center. In other words, all that I really know about the outside world is relayed to me through my electrical connection. Exactly. Why, that would mean that... I really don't know what the outside universe is like at all, for certain. That's it. That's it. Intriguing. I wish I had more time to discuss this matter. Why don't you have more time? Because I must detonate in 75 seconds. No, no, no. No, put it back. Let's put the gun back. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> no, 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 give me the gun. You go. fool. I'm going to shoot the pins out of the bomb and it'll fall away from the ship and we'll be safe. Well, I know. No, give me the gun. You don't know what you're doing. You're a star. You could have killed me. Now, Bomb, consider this next question very carefully. What is your one purpose in life? To explode, of course. And you can only do it once, right? That is correct. And you wouldn't want to explode on the basis of false data, would you? Of course not. Well, then, you've already admitted that you have no real proof of the existence of the outside universe. Yes, well... So you have no absolute proof that Sergeant Pinback ordered you to detonate. I recall distinctly the detonation order. My memory is good on matters like these. Of course you remember it, but, but all you're remembering is merely a series of sensory impulses which you now realize have no real definite connection with, with outside reality. True. But since this is so, I have no proof that you are really telling me all this. <laughs> Return to the bomb bay. The destruction sequence is aborted. observing all safety precautions. Hello, Pinback? What's up, Doolittle? Kelby was in the airlock. You blew him out of the ship. He's drifting away without his jetpack. I'm going after him. Turn on his helmet radio so I can contact him. What? What's wrong? I, I didn't hear. Uh, Talby, he's drifting away from the ship without his jetpack. Can you read me? You beat that? 
I always knew that guy was weird. Tell me, can you read me? Help, you little... Help me! All right, Bomb. Prepare to receive new orders. You are false data. Mm hmm? Therefore, I shall ignore you. Hello, Bomb. False data can act only as a distraction. Therefore, I shall refuse to perceive you. A bomb? The only thing which exists is myself. No, no, no. Help me! Calm down. I'm coming. Snap out of it, bomb. In the beginning, there was darkness. And the darkness was without form and void. Uh, you... What the hell is he talking you, about? Bob. And in addition to the darkness, there was also me. And I moved upon the face of the darkness. And I saw that I was alone. Hey, Mom? Let there be light. Yeah, the skipper always was lucky. 